Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's raining. I've arrived at Sidlow along the Rygate Road, the A217, going down to Gatwick Airport in Hawley for my next destination afterwards. And it's chucking it down. Now, obviously, if you're out filming, you do look at the weather forecast. It did say it's going to rain, not this heavy though. But blue skies are abound, which means I should hopefully be able to take you over to. Uh, Emmanuel Church, Victorian Church, and some pillboxes in a field at Sidlow, just uh, south of Rygate. Oh, yeah, it's getting a little bit. Oh no, still, still a bit, still a bit. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. So, uh, just bear with me a second. We'll bear with the weather. come out it stopped raining so that's good <laughs> if it does stop pouring down again I'm gonna have to run back to the car but we're at Emmanuel Church in Sidlow designed and built by Henry Clutton in 1861 everyone knows I'm not really a big lover of Victorian churches um, but it's still history isn't it and it's still a beautiful church a little look around Apologies for the traffic, so we are on a main road, the A217. The church is uh, locked. That's old door, that's Victorian. <laughs> it's a nice church. I see it's sort of a bit irritating though, if you're inside doing a service, and the constant hum of traffic must bleed through. Um, as soon as you move away, it's quite nice. It's nice. Yeah. Slip up. Just the door. <laughs> Love all these. <laughs> The reason I couldn't park in the car park is that I have to lock it off due to incidents of fly tipping. Oh, fly tipping. Disgusting. So I've just parked across the road in Iron Bottom, it's called. <laughs> okay, let's go and look for some pillboxes. Boxes were built in 1940 into 1941 as lookout posts, um, little garrisons in case there was an invasion from the uh, Germans. But now they're just scattered off across the South Downs, and hundreds of them. Some have been looked after, some just fell into disrepair. I mean, they're just like hollow, hollow, uh, hollowed out buildings, really. 
but uh let's have a look we get up to this one yeah yeah we can get in this one and it's full of shit I'm not really going to venture in because it is absolutely full of crap. It's just been a dump ground. We don't normally see this in pillboxes. You, you think you'd it'd be in every single one, just trash load everywhere, but no. Someone's either been fly tipping or something, but yeah. I can see another one right in the distance um, between the two trees over there. I think it's about four or five around this little area. I could be mistaken. There's Emmanuel Church where we've just been. And this pillbox. Yeah, there's one just there, as you can see, and one over in the distance, which I'm not going to go and look at because there are cows in the field. And as everyone knows, I'm not doing cows. <laughs> I think on other people's uh, blog posts saying, uh, oh yes, I went to visit some pillboxes in Sidlo, but a lot of cattle. So uh, yeah, I'd rather they stayed where they were. This is the River Mole, going through Sidlo. The lovely River Mole. Right, we're now going to leave Sidlow, head down the 217 towards Charlwood, a place I was here two years ago, and uh, I want to show you the church again. Hopefully we can get in this time. Oh, just got back to the car. Just started to chuck it down again. So my hair isn't too wet. Nothing I hate more than rained hair when you're on camera. Um, people say, well Mark, well, you, you have that on camera all the time, what are you complaining about? <laughs> um, anyway, yes, uh, so in a minute, when it's cleared up, I'm going to go down to Charlwood and go to uh, the church there. Hope we can get in this time. I was there with Rebecca in 2020 during sort of lockdown. Um, and uh, obviously it was closed then, but there's some fantastic uh, medieval paintings on the wall, which I really would like to see them. Um, and very uh, unique wall paintings as well. Um, so yeah. We'll head down there in a second. The oldest house in Charwood, 1400s, 1400s. So we're back at St Nicholas Church in Charlwood, built in 1081 and then expanded in the 1300s by the de Gatwick family of Gatwick Manor, which is now under the North Terminal. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we do have planes going over because we're right by Gatwick Airport. Funny enough, when we were here two years ago with Rebecca, no planes at all, dead silence. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful church, as you can see. Lovely old medieval door. I think I was touching this two years ago. <laughs> Come all this way. It's locked, although it says it's open. So we can't go and look at the uh, wall paintings. Welcome, the church is open. It's not open, so don't say it is. <laughs> Flip neck. Oh, what a fantastic video this is going to be um, I can show you the U oh, beautiful U you probably saw the one at uh, Tandridge in the previous video I'll show you this one come on Right 
Do look a good U. Look at the size of my U. <laughs> So what a shame, come all this way. Although I am meeting someone for lunch uh, today, uh, my friend Gary Andrews, filmmaker. Um, so, uh, airplane. And um, take me to Florida, please. To the Florida Keys, thank you. Um, yeah, there's a wooden chest in there from 1539. Used to, now uh, would have kept all the Paris records. Obviously the mirror of the pool painting from the 1300s. And it's signed to the D. Gatwick family back in medieval times. Oh, by the way, you'll lend your name to uh, International Airport. What? So yeah, please churches, if you're gonna be open, please don't put a sign out saying we are open when you're not. Um, yeah, at least the sun's come out, which is lovely. Yeah, I can feel it now. Lovely. It's very much sunshine and, sh sunshine and showers today. I'm usually very lucky with filming. I mean, contrary to popular belief, England does not always rain. Um, I very rarely have rain as a problem. And also, as I say, I look at the weather forecast. Um, they said light showers, and it wasn't. It was more of a, a, a downpour, so to speak. So I'll have a look, look around and um, see where else we can go. I might take you down back down to Providence Chapel, which is another chapel, but much newer. Let's go. Here's something that's very interesting. I got this via the uh, church website, a link on the church website. They estimate that there are 10,000 graves in this churchyard, and that can apply to most ancient churchyards. But how do they calculate that? Because records are lost over years going back, you know, especially going, going back a thousand years. This is how they calculate that. This is chap put this on the website. It's really interesting. Okay, so this applies to say to most ancient church arches. Okay, the age of the church, this one's only a thousand years old. Okay, a thousand years old. Think of average life expectancy, especially in sort of medieval times up until the Victorian period, maybe 40 years, 50 years, deducted for child mortality, of course. It's very sad. Number of generations, say 23. Average population of the area is about 500. Obviously not now, but 500. Deduct a few cremations in the last century. And QED, 10,000 buried. Very interesting. I mean, give or take a few hundred, of course. But that's, uh, that's uh, very interesting. Huh? another time I'm afraid guys. See you later. Let's go. Just come out into this field uh, just by the church okay, i can see an old barn how old it is i don't know but let's have a little closer look well, not much is going on in here i wonder how old this is i actually can't even make an educated guess really Victorian, earlier. Some oats here. Um, yeah. yeah. So uh, yeah, no idea how old it is. Saw it, thought I'd come have a quick look. It's 
move on. Oh, now the sun's come out. A bit blowy. It's actually an important day that I'm filming today. It's an important day today because it's the day that uh, Ricky Gervais's Supernature a uh, Netflix special drops on Netflix. So uh, one will be uh, indulging in that. We did um, see one of the warm-up shows for Supernature 2018 and then the world went to pot. Uh, that was over at the Horse Theatre at Crawley. Um, with Dodie, that was great fun. I'll quickly show you this again. I will link the video from Child Warp we did two years ago uh, below. Here we are, the cage, circa 1792. This building was formerly, thank you, Plain, this building was formerly the village lockup where wrongdoers were kept in custody pending trial and now it's just full of stuff one thing i can quickly show you as well just outside charwall is lowerfield heath working windmill 18th century windmill they do have open days and I think it's open on Sundays uh, coming coming up so uh, we'll try and come back and have a look inside that'd be really interesting so Lower Heathfield Lower Field Heath Windmill see we're making up for the church being closed So this is Providence Chapel, building first erected in 1797 in Horsham as the guardhouse of a barracks to house the troops assembled to repel any expected invasion by the French under Napoleon Bonaparte. Uh, after the Battle of Waterloo in 1815, it was bought by a charwell farmer and moved here on horse-drawn uh, carts. Yeah, in the mid-1800s, it became a non-conformist chapel. In the mid-1800s, the congregation was about 150. You can't walk in on feet, you can only go in on, on sort of um, invite really or request. Isn't it amazing? It makes you think you're in the deep south of America. I said that in the video before. It makes you think you're in sort of the deep south. You can see in, I thought there were people in there because they're actually uh, cutouts, but that's a chapel. Amazing. Look on the other one as well. I think it's lunchtime because I've unfortunately got kids screaming from the nearby school. Um, which is fair enough. But there you go, yeah. So, Providence Chapel. And that's the end of the video, guys. I tried to make the best of what. Um, oh, is that coming then? Oh, it's a little. Kitchen hatch. Um, I tried to do the best I could under the circumstances of a church being closed. We still had a good day out. Gonna have a lunch with Mr. Gary Andrews now, as ever. If you've liked the video, please like, subscribe, please leave a comment below. We like reading your comments. And on this day where it's sunny, raining, sunny, raining, I'll bid you farewell and hope you're having a great day. <laughs> See you later.